Hi guys, welcome back to VFX Rendering. It's been a while. Earlier this May, Epic Games released Unreal Engine 5.2, the latest version of the game engine and real-time renderer. Is it possible to render UE scenes in a cloud render farm? The answer is yes, but it is not easy to find one. Usually, server rental services or IaaS render farms such as iRender Farm are capable of UE rendering. But, the choice of UE users is now expanded as a SaaS render farm, Fox Render Farm starts to develop cloud rendering support for Unreal Engine. Fox Render Farm and iRender Farm are also two of our top five best render farms in general. We will compare their rendering speed and see which render farm is better for Unreal Engine. We use a demo scene downloaded from Epic Games Marketplace. It is a short film by Weta Digital called Meerkat Demo. It has 320 frames, 1920 by 1080 resolution, and will be rendered in Unreal Engine 5.1.1. Let's start with Fox R Ender Farm. Its steps to render UE scenes are very similar to other 3D software. First, we transfer the project through its transmission tool RaySync. Then create a new job for UE and select the software and hardware configuration. We go with the default GPU model and 64GB RAM. After the analysis succeeds, we submit the render job and wait for the render farm to do its thing. After 3 hours and 18 minutes, the render finishes. It costs us $14.334. However, there are 60 failed frames which means we can just use 260 frames. The next render farm is iRender. Same as Fox Render Farm, we upload the project via its app called iRender Drive. Next, we need to select a suitable configuration. As Unreal Engine has little use for multiple GPUs, we choose the one GPU server. It has one RTX 4090. However, this server needs to be used for at least 3 hours. So we will go with this option. After turning on the server, we start rendering. You may need to install Unreal Engine if it is your first time. The render time is very fast. It only takes nearly 15 minutes to render all frames, and there is no failed one. But we don't need to use all 3 hours we pay $23.12. To sum up, this is the final result of Fox Render Farm and iRender on a Meerkat demo scene. Fox Render Farm, total cost, $14.334. Render time, 3 hours 18 minutes. 60 failed frames. I render farm, total cost, $23.12. Render time, 15 minutes. No failed frames. 
From the results above, iRender is a better choice for Unreal Engine cloud rendering, with quick render time and no failed outputs. Fox Render Farm only is better than iRender in terms of price. That's all about today. Hopefully, our comparison gives you some good ideas when choosing a cloud rendering for Unreal Engine. We will continue making more render farm comparisons. If you want us to make a video for any software, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you like our videos. See you next time.